Hi everyone, this is Bob from the Netscope team and I'm very excited to give you a live demo of a new capability that we recently announced called Netscope DLP On Demand. So what we're effectively doing is we are extending the power of Netscope DLP to virtually anywhere using RESTful APIs. So think of it as an API abstraction of Netscope's DLP, where you can call Netscope's DLP as a service, if you will, and get a verdict. So you can build it into your application, use the APIs. So think about this for a moment. You're basically taking the power of Netscope's DLP with 3,000 data identifiers, 2,000 file types, all of the AI classifiers, all of the enterprise grade functionality and now you can bring that into your own environment to basically utilize the service to get a verdict on the data that you're looking at. So let's go ahead and uh, give you one example here. Um, one example is, let's say it is a custom AI application and a few lines of code built into your application, what you can do is as the application is interacting with LLMs. You got a chatbot functionality built in to the application as an example. So data that is sent to the LLM can first go to Netscope DLP on demand for a verdict. And then data coming out of the service uh, or the LLM, I should say, can also go through Netscope DLP. So you can look for data going in and data going out and build in that logic into your application but use Netscope DLP uh, on demand uh, for the verdict. So let me give you an example of what this looks like for this application. Okay, so in this first example, we have this custom application, this AI powered assistant, and we're gonna simply ask the assistant to reorder this list of customer names and passwords. It's gonna send that request to the LLM, but before that, send it to Netscope DLP on demand and it returned a verdict that that is sensitive data, so it was able to block it. Okay, so for the next example, we're gonna go ahead and try uploading a sensitive image, like a passport, because we wanna get information about what's in the passport. So once again, this goes to Netscope DLP on demand, and a verdict is reached that that is sensitive data, and it is blocked. Okay, in this last example, we're gonna look at data going the other direction. So data coming out of the prompt, we're also gonna to send to Netscope DLP on demand. But instead of blocking when we detect sensitive data, we're gonna allow it, but we are gonna mask the sensitive data by Xing it out. So you have a lot of full control, once again, thanks to Netscope DLP on demand.